And then with the Super Bowl and Valentine's Day so close together, this is expected to be one very busy weekend for Iowa's food service industry. And add to that our falling COVID numbers. You can see why see the industry is hoping that this weekend might be actually a new beginning for restaurant owners. Natalie Painter joins us more. She's talked to some of the restaurant owners out there. Good morning, Natalie. Yeah, Andy, good morning. The Iowa Restaurant Association told me that many restaurants are feeling very optimistic for what's to come in 2022, despite some of the challenges they might have had. Now, after the pandemic restrictions were lifted about a year ago for Iowa restaurants, it's been a rocky time for many. Between staffing shortages and supply chain issues, the it industry has been hit nonstop. But, Valentine's, with, but with Valentine's Day being the second busiest day of the year for many restaurants, local spots have been prepping all week for special menus and seating options. Even on a regular weekend, owners say it is best to reserve a spot whenever you can as it helps them prepare. Be sure to make reservations. As I think everybody knows, employee staffing is really hard to find all across the country, all across the Midwest, all across Iowa and in Des Moines. So as you go out, Remember, it's a busy, busy weekend. Try to be as patient as you can with your staff. We love them. It's hard, to, it's hard to find them, so just be as patient as you can. Take care of each other and take care of us, and we'll take care of you. Now, the Iowa Restaurant Association also told me that if you have trouble finding one of those Valentine's Day dinner res uh, reservations this weekend, try and check out some of the lunch options, as many restaurants do have some sort of Valentine's Day specials at that time of day as well, Andy. Well, I'm going out, uh, and it did take me a, a little bit of searching to find a good reservation time, but I did find one, and I am uh, really looking forward to it, Natalie. Uh, Jody, uh, I, I got a... I think I got a seven o'clock reservation. You're eight thirty. You're you're in good shape. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and we're going, a a we're going to a steakhouse. We're going to a steakhouse, and so I'm like, is it even a good idea to have red meat that late at yeah, night and then it, sleep? At least it's not <laughs> heavy food or anything. Yeah, no, I'm definitely going out to, to take a nap um, <laughs> and drink a small cup of coffee because I just can't hang that late. No, we're we're yeah. way we are way beyond that schedule. But yeah, <laughs> little 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 nap, little nap will help. It'll be it'll be nice though to get out.